Good morning, everybody. Well, there's one common theme to the markets yesterday, and that is levels being broken. So anyway, let's just have a look at that. We're going to start off with the Euro USD as usual. And uh, what I mean by that is quite simple. I'm always looking for my inside bar. There's my inside bar or inside tail, probably the correct terminology. But that's where I see a level. And you can see we broke through. We got our measured move came back you would expect to find support here but we closed below it so uh, basically opens up to the bottom level now so if we just come back to the hour uh, you'll see on the hour a little bit different because we've got that structure there so argument we could argue that uh, that is a level on the hour but this is still of relevance on the, the bigger time frames being the eight hours so uh, I would expect another probably a meander down into this area here of 121,500 and then see what happens. If that if 121,500 gives way, then you've got a potential trend reversal of the last three days. In other words, move back down to the downside. So a bit topsy turvy. Uh, I think if you look at yesterday, big down, big up, big down. So uh, lots of confusion. Look at the moving averages. They are, sorry, not moving averages, the oscillators. They have grouped to the downside. They have crossed over as well. So you'll be forgiven to thinking you it's coming back to the upside. But I think if I just fine tune this 8-hour level to there, okay, see there's our tail. I would expect us to test that and move back down and come and test this area. So yeah, for me, not 100% sure, but I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to come and test this area. Um, US dollar, Japanese yen, this is just absolute chaos at the moment. Uh, you can see the 8 hour levels. So we've got one down here, which we close below. We've got one up here. In actual fact, that one, let's put that one there. And let's just delete that one so we can just get some clarity into what's going on. Uh, deletes, come on, there we go. Okay, so look at the eight hour, we are sideways. Um, basically in a big range, bottom of the range is down that area there. Hovering just above the center of the range at the moment, but big up, big down, and then look at this uh, big, big up, big down, big up, and just in a megaphone formation, so expanding. That's another sign of confusion, and uh, there it is the hour. You can see we started moving up, as I expected yesterday, as I was looking, came up and then immediately reversed and then immediately reversed the upside. So this, for me, we are just shattering levels. Uh, we're not really paying attention to any of the levels. And it doesn't matter which way you look at this. Uh, if we bring it up here, uh, you might as well just toss a coin at the moment. So we do have a, a grouping above the moving averages, but the moving averages are not... Uh, well, have not crossed over. They're still in a bearish uh, pattern, but they are flat. They're not up or down. So, uh, and then look at my oscillators group down. So I expect we're probably going to move to the downside uh, into some structure and then probably just muck around today. We do have jobs number for the USA today, so that's also going to impact the market. So I think, um, yeah, just looking at that, dollars is going to keep me sitting on the sidelines a bit longer. Uh, moving across to Jap uh, British pound, Japanese yen. And you can see we had a strong move up, had a bit of a, a wedge that I pointed out yesterday. I'm not sure we can classify that as a break below it. We probably can on the lower time frames, but definitely not on the 8 hour. And these are 8 hour tails. So that's just a tail below it. So I would prefer to see a close and then a bigger bar up and then a reversal. But look at that structure there. We are reversing off uh, some levels. And if we look at the hour, you'll see... There is pretty solid structure there that we tested yesterday. So we moved down, broke below those levels, broke below this next level, which is an 8-hour level as well, and then immediately came back to test the 8-hour level to the upside. So uh, oscillators have crossed over. I suspect we're more than likely going to continue moving to the downside. Just bear one thing in mind, we've only just got the crossover. We are finding support on the 155. So, you know, for a trend reversal to be confirmed for me, the one hour needs to be below the 155. At the moment, we are all over the place. So that does look like we're going to get some more downside. 
and uh, what I'd be looking for is a rejection of a level. So either back up to 154.287 or we need to drop below here, come back and test it and then start rolling. Uh, that would give you opportunity to be short. And you're going to be looking for these tails here as your target areas. Um, lastly, Euro, British Pound, a similar kind of situation here. We got a bearish crossover yesterday and then well, not yesterday, well, last week we got the bearish crossover in the 8 hour and uh, we've come back to test this area. Now yesterday I was expecting us to test this level here, 086244 and you can see what's happened, we basically got above it. So a um, bit, uh, bit of confusion here on this pair and again you can see we got up into that area, we sort of rejected it, came back down, got above it, then closed just below it, closed below it, and now we're back above it. So ultimately, I'd like to see support here. So look at the crossovers that we've got yesterday on the moving averages. If we can find support here at 086244, then you would expect to move to the upside. Look at the oscillators as well. They are crossed over pointing to the upside above the moving averages. Just an extremely messy um, price action. If you look at this chart, the last couple of days, really only one day, two days it was trending. One day trended down, one day trended up. So um, this is a, a very good candidate for a 15 minute. But the minute you come to 15 minutes on yesterday's price action, that would have kept me away with all these tails, lots of barbed wire. The my oscillators, so no real opportunity here. I want to see a pullback on structure and then I want to see some form of structure build and we're not getting that at the moment. So what you can also do is just adjust your one hour levels and be patient. So there's a tail, there's a tail, there's a tail. Uh, that one is also an option, but I think just use this rather. So that's what we've got to break through. So if we break below all those levels, you expect us to move to the downside and you're probably fine. We're going to form a range down here. Okay, so we move back down, that's what will happen. If we can find support on one of these and start moving to the upside, you've got the outside chance of a move to the upside. So I think at the moment it's extremely volatile, extremely confused. Lots going on, lots of uh, confusion going on with multiple things at the moment. And we had, um, we had a big flash crash on Bitcoin yesterday as well. So yeah, I think for me, Forex pairs, I will be sitting on the side uh, and probably for the rest of the week. I don't think I'm going to even bother with it today and tomorrow. Just sit quietly um, and just wait for, probably going to wait for this month to, to, to come to an end because it has been an extremely volatile month uh, with not much uh, opportunities, uh, levels being broken all over the place. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.